All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Granis Expansion Pack, which is being made by Forum user Ohio Bob. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a lovely new planet pack that'll turn the stock solar system here into a binary star system with a new red dwarf surrounded by lovely new planets and moons. So let's take a look at the tracking station and check out our new little star system that's just over here. Well, technically it's all a part of this star system being the whole binary star thing, but let's uh, start zooming out so you can get an idea of just how far away it is from our stock planets here. And there it is, a Granis far in the distance and uh, <laughs> way past Elu. So uh, yeah, it's gonna take you quite some time to get there, but a fun place full of fun new planets to explore. So let's head over there and zoom on in to the Red Dwarf, which is our new star. Now I do actually wanna point out one thing real quick before we move on to all the planets, etc., and that is that this doesn't necessarily have to be a binary star system. If you do like this little star system, there is actually an optional file in the download that if you delete, y you'll get this, the binary star system. But if you leave it in, it actually makes it so that this star system replaces the stock star system. So you'll just be playing over here, which is actually uh, interesting if you're into that sort of thing. But for me, I like new stars. So let's, uh, of course, pop up our little information tab and we have a Granis, our beautiful new red dwarf. And moving on to our first planet here, we have Tyrannus, which has a large lava lake here, which I assume you probably wouldn't want to land in. I don't know if it'll actually do anything to you, but um, yeah, better safe than sorry. Otherwise, nice, pretty, pretty generic planet overall, besides the, you know, giant lava ocean here. And yeah, just a nice planet close by our new red dwarf. Now the next planet here is Nodens, which is uh, a beautiful little planet here with of course an atmosphere and water and if you do choose to replace the stock system with this star system this is of course where you'll be taking off from and uh yeah pretty nice place to go and explore lots of oceans lots of lots of nice land masses etc and of course it does have a a lovely little moon in Bellissima, which uh, again, pretty generic little moon, but overall, hey, it's a new place to go and land and does have some nice craggy landscapes. Now the next one we have is Serona. My personal favorite, as I do always love a good uh, planet with a ring. It's a pretty dim ring, not the brightest thing or most visible, but it is still Gorgeous, and with a good view, of course, of the nice new red dwarf. And with it, it has a couple of moons, the first of which being Airmed here, a lovely little rocky world with some good terrain. I do kind of like the half gray, half sort of more, well, I wouldn't say black, just a darker gray on the other side. Very nice. We then have a Brovo, which is... An interesting combination of colors. And as you can see here, the second largest moon of Serona. And uh, big enough to be a planet in its own right, except, you know, moon. We then, of course, also do have a Damona, which is a very, very tiny little thing. And I do love the giant crater right here. Very, very cool. That'd be definitely a fun place to explore with some rovers. And then we have Epona, which is a uh, lovely little planet here with its own moon right over there. A nice uh, sort of icy world. You know, good. It looks like it has some geysers or something up in the top, or volcanoes rather, most likely. Up in the top there, also fun places to explore. Got a couple down here as well. All in all, a pretty nice looking little planet. Now, of course, it has its moon here, a Rosemerta. A tiny little thing with uh, some interesting variation in its coloration. Does look like it has a bit of ice there, but a very small, airless moon. Uh, just another giant rock in space for you to land on. And then we have RAB58E, which is 
well, basically an asteroid that is orbiting on the edge of Epina, so technically a moon, but is basically just an asteroid that got caught in its gravitational pull. And overall, I think it's actually one of my favorite of the moons in this little pack, considering it's just irregular. It's, you know, not a big spheroid. It's an asteroid that you can go and land on and have a little fun. A very cool thing. And then we have Sir Nunus, if I'm saying that right in the slightest. And it's, uh, well, tiny. Tiny. It's a dwarf planet, as you can see right there. And, of course, is also extremely far away from our red dwarf, so it is quite a cold little world. But again, still a nice place to go and explore. And then that brings us back to the stock system. So that is really all there is to the Granis expansion pack. Now, like I said, you can replace the stock system with the Granis system. Uh, but if you do, like me, enjoy having other uh, stars with planets to explore, I'd say keep it as it is. Now, it is also compatible with the Outer Planets mod, so it won't, you know, mess with that. It'll add this in as a nice new binary system for you. And it is actually sort of a part of the Galileo Planet Pack. It's made by the same folks and is kind of a, an expansion onto that. I Well, the, thus the name, the Granis Expansion Pack. But all in all, a good little set of planets. I love, I always love a good red dwarf star. And, well, <laughs> I'm always a sucker for a ringed gas giant. Well, or a ringed world in general. I mean, come on. How can you not love a view like that? It's just gorgeous. But yeah, that is going to be it for today. If you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I definitely recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it. I hope you have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.